A weapon called the AR-15 is a semi-automatic lightweight rifle. One of the most delicate features of the AR-15 is that it can be customized to fit your aesthetic preferences and your home personal protection needs. It may be customized for any purpose and contains easily interchangeable parts. Compared to other rifle systems, the AR-15 has a more tolerable recoil, primarily when chambered in 5.56. It also has better ergonomics than other well-known rifles, such as the famous AK-47. And with that, I present my top 10 AR-15 rifles for 2022. 1. Ruger AR-556 The Ruger AR-556 has quickly become the direct gas impingement M4-style AR-15 weapon of choice for many folks. It provides all you need in a well-made, durable package with a few distinctive Ruger touches for a modest price. After a few years of development, Ruger has finally released the second version of their AR-556. The MPR, or multi-purpose rifle, is the weapon in question. The barrel is composed of 4140 chrome molly steel that has been cold hammer forged and coated with a corrosion-resistant nitride coating. It has a thick profile for the first six inches, then narrows. A 0.7-inch barrel may be found on the front of the handguard. The AR-556 MPR's balancing point lies slightly under the front takedown pin with the stock fully extended, which is appropriate for an 18-inch barreled rifle. A forward assist, dust cover, brass deflector, an elevation adjustable fixed front sight, and Ruger flip-up rear sights are among the other features. A front sight tool and a 30-round Magpul PMAG are also included with the AR-556. The handguards covering the barrel and gas tube are made of glass-filled nylon and are extremely heat-resistant, allowing them to endure many firings. With six distinctive locations to choose from, the M4-style synthetic buttstock is easily adjusted. 2. FN-15 Tactical The FN is not just another fancy AR, and it is not dated. It's a classic. You will receive an extremely dependable and robust rifle for a reasonable price. The fit and quality are impeccable, as is the functionality. From steel cases to brass cases, the FN-15 ate them all, and it did so from just about every AR magazine maker on the market. The Tactical 2's barrel is the most popular general-use AR chosen length, 16 inches, and type. Because button rifled barrels are inexpensive and straightforward to produce, they are used in most low-cost ARs. Instead, FN ops with hammer-forged barrels. The Tactical 2's handguard is undoubtedly one of the most significant factory kinds ever created. It measures 13 and a half inches in length and is superbly crafted. There are no sharp edges anywhere on it, and the octagonal form is easy to hold. FN perfected the features of this gun. They kept the weight down by choosing a superb barrel profile and then employed a hammer-forged tube to get the most life out of it. All of FN's tribal expertise ensured that production aspects, such as measurements and heat treatment, were flawless. There are no unnecessary features on the FN-15 Tactical 2, but it does include every major feature that you want or need on a general-purpose AR pattern rifle. The FN-15 isn't flashy, but it's one of the most well-made and durable ARs available today. 3. BCM Recce 16 There are a lot of new companies coming out with new and improved AR rifles with the latest and best technologies, but the BCM Recce 16 AR-15 truly stands out against the competition. BCM's Recce 16 rifle performed admirably from 100 yards, with 1-inch groups on average. Everything from wolf gold to gold metal can be handled by the Recce 16, and it will always shoot consistently and precisely. Even when the Recce became a little hot, the rifle's performance was unaffected. The rifle's MOA groupings are impressive, especially when compared to the MOA averages of other rifles in the same class. The Recce 16 is a solid and dependable weapon. Its chrome-lined 16-inch cold hammer forge barrel has a 1 7th twist and can take whatever plink you throw at it. There were no misfires and failure to withdraw or load after over 1,500 rounds, and the magazine loaded clean every time. The Recce 16's chrome-lined barrel was designed with accuracy to withstand pressure and keep shooting. I would strongly suggest it to anybody looking for a tactical AR. This rifle is relatively light, weighing in at around 6.1 pounds. The rifle has a barrel of 16-inch and a 32.5-inch overall length, 35.5-inch length with extended stock. The Recce 16 is exceptionally light and maneuverable, which is ideal for a tactical rifle. One 30-round magazine is included with the Recce 16, where allowed by law. The mag is made by BCM and fits snugly inside the magazine. When you press the release button, the magazine comes out neatly. 
The BCM Recce 16 AR-15 rifle is a high-quality, accurate, dependable weapon. The Recce 16 sets a new bar for ARs. If you're looking for a new tactical AR, the BCM Recce 16 is an excellent option. 4. Wilson Combat Wilson Combat is perhaps better known as the custom 1911 business than anything else, although the firm now makes much more weapons than simply John Browning's brainchild. Wilson Combat also offers Berettas, custom Glocks, seven modified Remington 870s, and a few AR-10 variants, as well as AR-15s in 10 different calibers. The AR-15's newest member to the family is the Protector line of carbines and pistols. It is Wilson Combat's most affordable rifle, and may be termed entry-level, because a world-class custom shop can do entry-level anything. The Protector comes in 5.56 NATO, 300 Blackout, and 300 Hammer calibers. One of their AR examples is the Protector. The Protector sports a 16-inch match-grade stainless steel barrel with a button rifle design and an armor-tough coating. The armor-tough coating covers the whole rifle, and the Protector is also available in Coyote Tan. With a 5.56 NATO chamber and a 1.8 twist, the rifle can take any bullet weight supported in factory ammunition. It has a mid-length gas system, which is easier to shoot and is softer on moving parts than a carbon-length system. A direct gas impingement method is used in this weapon. Wilson Combat used to create piston ARs when they were fashionable half a dozen years ago, but the craze has tapered down, and Wilson Combat now exclusively builds direct gas ARs. Direct gas AR-15s are lighter, have more minor components, are less costly, and are just as dependable as piston AR-15s, if not more so. 5. Daniel Defense DDM-4 V7 with the Daniel Defense MFR 15.0 rail, the DDM-4 V7 AR-15 type weapon includes M-Lock attachment technology. The V7 includes a DD-enhanced flash suppressor to lessen flash signature and is built on a cold hammer forged 16-inch barrel. In every condition, the mid-length gas system assures smooth and steady cycling while decreasing perceived recoil and wear on moving components. The V7 provides ample capacity for the sights, optics, and accessories the user may desire with M-lock attachment points running along seven places and an unbroken 1913 Picatinny rail on top. Left- and right-handed shooters can use the independently ambi grip and rip charging handle. The Daniel Defense buttstock and pistol grip are also included with this weapon. The DDM-4 V7 was set down at the range with a CTK Precision bench rest to see its accuracy. Granted, 55 grain Wolf isn't precisely match-grade precision ammo, but it was better than nothing, giving the present shortage. The results were shocking when it came out that there were three rounds in the same hole at 25 yards. A half inch separated the groups at 50 yards. The accuracy was even great at 100 yards. The smallest bunch was 1.2 inches in diameter, while the average was about 2 inches. For an AR rifle, these were amazing results. The DDM-4 V7 from Daniel Defense is a reliable, accurate AR-15 with enough rails to keep 5.56 enthusiasts intrigued. While the ergonomics of the pistol grip aren't perfect, this rifle makes up for it with QD mounts, a threaded barrel, and a better muzzle brake. 6. Heckler & Koch MR556A1 The MR556A1 has no M203 mounting cut and no bayonet lug, but it does have an M16A2 style flash hider muzzle protection at the end of its 16-inch heavy barrel. The alloy handguard of the MR556A1 is a one-piece free-floating device that looks to have started out as an extrusion. It has four 1913 rails and a fixed front sight set on top, and a cross bolt towards the bottom back. This one-piece rail has an entirely open front, displaying the slightly projecting gas block. There is no gas cylinder plug in the gas block. The foldable front sight is mounted on a round section with two notches and a short horizontal hole. The MR556A1 is also distinctive on the inside. The bolt group is comparable to another short-stroke piston AR for the most part, but it has its own unique features. The operating rod contact is part of the bolt carrier and includes a central depression to aid rod alignment. The carrier's rear is additionally extended to accommodate for the tilting that is prevalent in AR piston conversions. The trigger on the MR556A1 is excellent straight out of the box with only a minor amount of creep that will smooth out with usage. It comes with a 30-round HK magazine. Normal 20 and 30-round magazines, as well as a few others, will be accepted, but not all.
This is because HK AR platform rifles utilize a magazine that is tighter than the original AR-15 magazine and is designed to fulfill European regulations. Commercial accuracy was excellent. At 100 yards, 223 Remington ammunition hovered about 1 MOA or less, while the M855-556 NATO ball round performed admirably. There were no problems at all. A brow 4x32mm combat optic was used for accuracy testing. The HK MR556A1 will undoubtedly set the standard for AR-style rifles in general, and short-stroke piston ARs specifically. It'll fit right in as a competitive weapon, a high-precision patrol carbine, or a valued collector's item. 7. Rock River Arms LAR-15 Entry Tactical The Entry Tactical LAR-15 from Rock River Arms is chambered for 5.56 NATO and 223 caliber. It's also a semi-automatic AR-style rifle with a 16-inch chrome molly barrel with a 3 plus 1 capacity. It weighs 36 inches in length and is 7.5 pounds. The barrel is the sole change between the two versions of the entry tactical. To put it another way, the standard barrel is not chrome-lined, but the other type is. The matte black finish is included in both variants. The upper receiver on both models is a forged A4 type upper with a mill standard 1913 Picatinny accessory rail. It features a port door that does not open forward. The lower receiver is a Rock River Arms LAR-15 fabricated receiver. The gun is equipped with an RRA star safety, which has a pattern of tactile serrations radiating in all directions from a central point, thus the name. At 100 yards, the totality delivers one MOA accuracy, which is impressive for an entry AR. A 30-round magazine comes standard with the weapon. In the back, there's a collapsible Rock River Arms 6 position tactical car stock. It is actuated by a lever and features a non slip textured butt pad. Entry has a lot to admire, including its modularity and endless upgradability, which allows it to be anything other than entry. The handguard, stock, grip, trigger, muzzle device, trigger guard, safety selector, sights, charging handle, and more are all upgradable on the Rock River Arms Entry Tactical LAR 15. 8. Sig Sauer M400 Aluminum receivers make up the Sig M400 tread rifles, which are available in a 5.56 NATO caliber. A 16-inch stainless steel barrel, a mid-length gas system, a free-floating M-lock handguard, a Magpul SLK 6-position telescoping stock, ambidextrous controls, and a single-stage polished hard-coated trigger characterize this optics-ready rifle. At under $1,000, this feature-rich and reasonably priced rifle is undoubtedly one of the greatest AR-15s. This AR-15 rifle has a pinned gas block, a 16-inch stainless steel barrel with a 5.56 NATO chamber, mid-length gas system, and a 1.8 twist rifling. No matter what ammo you use, firing this rifle gives you a smooth shooting experience. The mid-length gas system is highly dependable, and it reduces perceived recoil while also extending bolt life. The barrel profile of the SIG M400 tread rifle is medium light, keeping the rifle lightweight. Despite having a 15-inch long aluminum handguard, the M400 tread rifle's entire unloaded weight is under 7 pounds. The tread's micro gas block is correctly pinned in place, boosting the firearm's dependability. You can fire as many bullets as you want and the gas block will still remain intact. The SIG Sauer M400 tread weapon is an excellent value for money entry-level rifle. It has features that are generally reserved for more costly guns. In general, the Sig Sauer M400 tread rifles are a flexible platform that may be employed in a variety of shooting scenarios. 9. Smith & Wesson M&P-15 Sport 2 Most people associate Smith & Wesson with handguns, but the M&P-15 Sport has carved out a niche in the AR-15 market since its introduction. This 5.56 chambered AR-15 has a few upgrades over the years, and there are a few variations to choose from. Smith & Wesson has succeeded in reaching both the civilian and military worlds by marketing and branding itself as a low-cost, high-quality choice. With the usual price of roughly $800, the M&P-15 Sport appeals to many people. Throughout the M&P-15 Sport, you'll find simple yet effective hardware and designs. The M&P-15 Sport has a direct impingement gas system, and T6 aluminum upper and lower receivers. A chromed bolt carrier, gas key, and firing pin provide smooth operation. The telescopic buttstock is offered for user modification as intended. Smith & Wesson designed a standard magazine well that enables quick magazine swaps. The flare isn't excessive, 
but it's enough to make reloading a breeze. Finding a comfortable cheek weld with the red dot optic and irons was as straightforward as you'd expect with a telescopic buttstock. The craftsmanship is unquestionably outstanding for an entry-level AR-15, and the components fit to mill spec. With aftermarket parts and accessories readily accessible, there is room for customization. The MNP Sport 2 is a rifle you should consider if you're seeking a practical, well-made, and dependable rifle that will leave you with enough money to buy a lot of ammo and a sling. The ergonomics, accuracy, and dependability are satisfactory for the price, and you can continually improve. 10. Springfield Armory St. Victor 556 With a 16.1-inch barrel, the St. Victor is a typical AR carbine. It employs a standard AR loadout and is chambered in 556. This rifle is extremely light, weighing only 6 pounds and 9 ounces. The barrel on both the upper and lower portions of the Victor has a 1-8 twist and is made of 7075 T6 aluminum. It measures 35.5 inches when fully extended and 32.25 inches when fully compressed. Springfield added a Type 3 hard coat anodized finish and M4 feed ramps. When it refers to handling, all AR-15s are very much the same. Recoil, handling, and now even triggers are formed and constructed in the same way. I'd think the Victor Saint isn't immune to such adjectives. It's only that the Victor Saint does it more smoothly. It has less recoil than typical ARs, and the brake functions well. The trigger is crisper and faster than on all mil-spec ARs, and the grip and stock improve the already excellent ergonomics of the AR-15. While most of the attention on the contemporary rifle is on seductive close-quarter shooting, a rifle is designed for much more. An AR should be able to strike a man-sized target at 500 yards with a decent gun and a proficient rifleman. The St. Victor thrives in close-quarters combat, and it has no trouble reaching out beyond 300 yards. The Springfield St. Victor is an AR-15 that is accurate, dependable, and simple to use. It's well-made, and the rifle is incredibly light and loaded with functions. This is an excellent rifle and I would recommend it to anyone looking for an AR-15.